All it takes is one good find. Maybe in this scoop right here. You got that right, mate. Gary, David, and Peter have joined treasure hunter Michael John and heavy equipment operator Billy Gerhardt as they continue investigating the southern edge of the mysterious triangle-shaped swamp. Hey, you and I, we found a lot of ship spikes and wharf pins all along this stretch. Yeah. That's why I'm surprised we haven't found any of those yet. Yeah, and those are only, what, six inches to a foot down. Yeah. And now we're digging six feet down. But what we have been finding is some really cool, interesting pieces of wood from a like an old sailing ship. Yeah. Let's find some good stuff. You ready? Oh, mate. In recent weeks, the team has recovered a number of clues in this area that could also help validate Scott Clark's theory, including possible deck planking, as well as tools related to ships, and a trapezoid-shaped piece from a believed cargo boat that was dated to as early as 1680. Oh, my metal, where are you? Oh. Yeah, that stands out. One more for the pile. That's a very interesting piece of wood. It's very similar to some of the planking that we've found, but this is irregular. It's wider at this end and thinner there. Obviously, it was shaped by man, and that stands out. Yeah. I mean, what, what would you call that? Decking or siding? Yeah. Probably decking. Could Gary be correct? that Billy has just recovered another piece connected to a large ship? In 1969, the esteemed landowner and treasure hunter Fred Nolan drained the swamp and was astonished to discover his own trove of ship-related artifacts. These included scuppers and even part of a mast. The operation made Fred speculate that the swamp may have been artificially created in order to hide an entire treasure galleon. Could the potentially ship-related discoveries that the team continues to make in the swamp not only support Fred's theory, but also Scott Clark's? But definitely another piece that we can maybe have C-14 and have the marine archaeologist put some eyes on it. We'll definitely get it looked at. I'll put this to one side. Yeah. I'd like to see some coins come up here. Yeah. This is the edge of the beach. Anything that got washed off that stone roadway as well would be really cool. Right, gonna get stuck in. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, you got something? What are you thinking? Definitely shaped. Kind of looks like it would be inside a small boat, maybe? The rails across? That's definitely man-made. I was thinking that, too. A wooden fragment, potentially from a smaller type of nautical vessel? Could it be connected to the trapezoid-shaped artifact, dating back as early as the 1680s, that was found in this area one week ago? It was the opinion of geoscientist Dr. Ian Spooner that it may have been part of a longboat used to unload cargo from a much larger sailing ship. That's from that two to three feet. Yeah. yeah. Seems like we're finding most of the pieces of wood at about two to three feet deep. Yeah. Could these finds be related to the pieces of cargo barrels found near the stone wharf one year ago? And if so, could they also be related to the traces of silver recently detected deep in the money pit? There are all kinds of things of significance in the swamp at this point. We are finding bits and pieces in there from a ship. So is there a ship in the swamp, or are there bits of a ship in the swamp that were used for other things? We haven't got an answer to that yet. That one's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but it's keep these to the side. Yeah, perfect. God, this is fun. <laughs> 